Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and real quick, um, I have a subscriber from Denmark, hi, who um, wants to know a little more about this, these um, book cradles. Wow, if I could speak words. Sorry, there's little extra pieces of plastic there. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to like measure it for her real quick. She doesn't want to order one because clearly, you know, the shipping to Denmark would probably be way more than it's worth. So, um, she wanted to try to make one in wood. So anyways, it's roughly nine and a quarter long and three and a quarter wide. The little divot is like two and a half. And basically what I told my husband is it needs to be able to, um, like if I have a piece of paper that's folded in half, you know, like a whole signature or whatever when we were designing it. I'm like, you know, you need to be able to fit it in there and for it to just kind of sit. If it had more pages, it would sit more open. And then, so you can poke the holes in there. And then the extra little divot in there. But it's just basically an X. So, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about it other than that. So, um, it's just a cradle, essentially. Um, so there's that. I wanted to do that before I forgot because I'm trying to help her out a little bit because I get it. The shipping is, yeah, that would be ridiculously expensive. So, anyways, um, I worked on this a little bit more yesterday. Not a whole lot because I had other things I had to do. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Hello out there. I hope you're all healthy and safe and things are going okay. I know it's um, crazy in New York. And um, my prayers are with you guys totally. All your firefighters and first responders for sure. Because I know my husband's, you know, he's not a firefighter. But, you know, he works at the hospital. So I understand it's, it's crazy and scary. And uh, so anyway, I just hope all of you and all your families and everybody's doing okay. So I added um, one of the little pages where you fold in the corners. And then I just backed it with some postcard paper from that big heirloom stack of paper that I have because it just seems to go pretty well with this. And these um, two tags are in my um, torn paper and fern, fern digi. So that's those. Just backed them and put some lace at the top. And then I just did a little collage here. These are those um, price tags that came off of all that linen that I got. So I saved them because I thought... I don't know what it is like if I wrote those I wouldn't like it but for some reason when somebody else hand writes stuff I like it <laughs> so I don't know anyway I um, crinkled it and inked it and stuff and just put a bold pin and put it there so what I want to do now is put this page here and then I'll probably put like some paper there to journal on or something because I know that that one's that would be kind of hard to journal on that particular piece so yeah, I hope you're all doing okay. I know it's crazy, but I don't know when the crazy is going to be done, so I guess we just have to kind of just stay home and stay safe and keep your family safe as much as you possibly can, and hopefully we can get through it quickly. So weird to see all those great big cities with nobody, you know, on the streets and stuff. It's not that strange here to see that because, I mean, I, I'm in kind of a big area and close to a big area, but um, it's nothing like those big areas. So. We're all just trying to avoid, avoid, avoid all of the chaos. as much as possible. Ah, stick into my glue book. So tell me what you guys have been up to. We've been, um, you know, watching Netflix and <laughs> crafting and just all that kind of stuff. My husband and my son have been doing VR at night to try to, you know, like get some exercise and just 
for fun, something to do. So yeah, it's been interesting. We've been, my husband and I like Prodigal Son. I don't know if you guys have watched that at all, but um, it's kind of a cool show. The, the dad is a serial killer and is in prison, you know, and the son goes and visits him. He's a, like a police psychologist, detective. I don't know what you call that, but anyway. Um, and the dad kind of helps him solve some of the murders, and I don't know. It's just, it's totally kind of crazy, but it's it's a good show. They've done a good job. And uh, the actors are very good. Very believable, I'll say. You know, sometimes you watch a show or a movie or something, and I say this quite often to my family, um, like certain characters, I just don't buy. Like, I don't buy them in that part. It's not that there's anything wrong with the movie or anything like that. I just, I don't buy their character. And um, so I'm always happy when the character, like the actor fits, you know, the character, that kind of thing. And I'm sure that's quite difficult to, you know, pick people for these parts and stuff. And we all imagine things differently. Like when you read a book and you imagine it one way and that somebody else sees it a different way and makes a movie and you're like, wait, that's not, that's not the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> that's the way I felt when I watched um, Hunger Games. I don't know if you guys have seen that or what. But anyway, um, I felt like... The, a lot of it I was very good, and I totally bought, like, most of the characters and everything. But I didn't like the way they did the capital. <laughs> I didn't like, like, the powdered wigs and all that. Sorry, my cats are... My male cat wants to play, and my female cat does not, and so she just hisses at him and causes a ruckus. So that's what she's doing right now. Because then he usually gets in trouble for being a turkey because he won't ever leave her alone and sometimes I put him outside for a few minutes but because he just pesters her incessantly all right well I can't find my little notebook I don't know what I did with it that has the lined paper I had it here so I'm going to use this I thought I was grabbing my ruler over there people are wondering what in the world am I doing I don't know what I'm doing kind of having just that weird all over the place feeling today again I think it's lack of sleep and just everything stress just worried about my husband really is what it comes down to because uh, being at the hospital and you know they just they have to be there and you know of course you want them to help people it's not that it's just it's hard and I'm sure a lot of you know that it's very hard. So, but he was pretty excited yesterday because they have a patient with it that they didn't think was doing too good and he's, he's doing a little bit better. So that was making him happy, which is good. the day before he came home pretty upset that he didn't think that person might, you know, might not make it or whatever. Well, not whatever, but you know what I mean. He just didn't know what was going to happen. It wasn't looking good. But, so that was a good thing. They tried some different stuff and it seemed to be helping. One of the things was flipping the person under their belly, so that was good. Something different. Because, you know, when you go to the hospital, you're always laying on your back, it seems like. you know tell me a lot he just told me that 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 he was worried and then it was a little bit better because they tried something different 
So that was good. Oops, I keep wanting to glue that upside down. I'm just determined to get those numbers upside down. I'm telling you. Oh, so somebody was asking me to kind of talk about like what my day looks like. <laughs> I get up at usually 6, 6.30 in the morning. I take a shower. Um, then I go and mail anything that needs to be mailed or errands that I need to run. I like to just get that done when there aren't as many people out and about. And then um, come home, make a video. So that's kind of what I did today. I already ran my errands and now I am back and then from there it's you know there aren't any real specifics as far as exactly what I do because I usually do a video and then um, depending on if I left or not how long that takes and so sometimes I'll just keep working on whatever I'm working on like once this hour is done I'll keep working on this journal and, you know, checking and filling orders and questions and comments on YouTube and stuff like that. I usually do, like, while I'm eating lunch. And then I come back and work some more. You know, I'll, like, throw in laundry or do that kind of stuff, too, throughout the day. Because, you know, I'm still... I'm at home and that stuff all needs to be done so I do a lot of that kind of thing and then just depending when my kids are in school like you know sometimes I have to pick up my son or whatever right now I've really just been able to kind of work and try to get journals done so I mean I don't consider myself highly organized at all I consider myself pretty disorganized really um, like I have a pile of paper on this side and a pile of paper over here I mean I am NOT highly organized like Gail Agostinelli is highly organized she's so if you're looking for like organizational type stuff she's the one to talk to because um, she's just very organized I kind of am all over the place and it just depends on the day like I have my days where I am much more with it and get a lot done and then other days it's like what did I do all day <laughs> I don't even know so I don't know I mean I'm essentially you know a housewife and a mom and so those things always come first and then you know I'm also trying to run the business and so it's just do what needs to be done every day basically but um, yeah and then I usually in the afternoon, um, like I said, I've had to pick up my son or something because my daughter drives herself, and she usually drives him too, but if she has somewhere she has to be, and any appointments that need to be done in the afternoon, and then come home, cook dinner. And then after dinner, I usually will sit with my family, and we either watch a television program or, you know, just hang out, whatever. But I usually will be, like, cutting things out, prepping things, looking stuff up, you know, like trying to find images and things that I can use on New York Public Library or the Met, you know, the Metropolitan Museum has some images in public domain. Um, the Victoria and Albert Museum, I look stuff up on Pinterest. Just a lot of times I'll look at collages and things like that just for inspiration and ideas. And, yeah, I mean, that's really my day. It's it's not, um, there's not huge plans because that's just not really the way I am. Unless, you know, there's something that has to get done that day, then, of course, I will make plans to do whatever. But um, I'm not a huge You know, I don't, like, have a whole month planned out or <laughs> any of that kind of stuff. I am definitely not that organized. It's kind of fly by the seat of your pants, whatever needs to be done. And it depends on what orders come in. Um, some days there aren't any, and other days, you know, there's multiple ones that I have to box and all that kind of thing. But, yeah. 
so it's just basically getting done what needs to be done every day. Alright, so I'm not sure if that's what you were looking for or but that's just sort of my day at a, at a glance. I'm usually up till 10, 10.30, then I go to bed, and a lot of times that's when I'll try to watch a video or so, um, depending on how tired I am, so that I can, you know, keep up on what's going on. You know what, I think I'm going to turn this this way. I don't know if that's going to work, though. I don't want that flow that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that, um end right there because <laughs> you can see it even when I put this on there but this you'll be able to see the fold so I guess I'll just deal with that so that's usually what a day is like it's been a little different now mostly because we're all here all day long so You'd think I could get loads of stuff done, though, but it just seems like stuff comes up, and I don't know. I don't get as much done as I had hoped. How did I get all that ink on there? All right, so this is just a piece of that heirloom paper that I have that I got at Joann's. And I'm just going to put that on just as a little strip. So this one will be a double pocket, so you'll have this as a pocket and then this pocket and I'm going to put a thumb hole on that. The only problem is the middle is right about where my little number sign is that I like. I missed it. And there's always lots of cleaning <laughs> because I make such a mess when I do Really anything, cooking this. <laughs> so, yeah. I've gotten better about that. My husband, when we first were married and stuff, he'd be like, how do you make such a mess when you're, when you're cooking? It's like, I don't know, it's not like a, a plan or something. I just, I just am good at that. Let's see here. You guys barely, sorry, I'm almost out. I'm just putting this strip of paper down. Just trying to get it hopefully as centered as possible. Okay, so we're not going to glue that down entirely. We're just going to glue around the edges. And this is um, one of the, a piece of that collage that we did that one day. It's like the last piece of it. So yeah, I wish I was a super organized person. I could probably get a lot more done. But I'm just not. I definitely have my good days, but... Kind of a ditz, so that presents problems for organization sometimes. Let's see if we can get this to stick. It wants to pick up for some reason. I think it's the bend of the book. Yeah, this is kind of a different one. I didn't do one like this in the last one. I like to try to think of different um, ways to do pockets with the pages, you know. Just to make it a little more interesting. Stay down, would you? Okay, I think that's going to stay. We'll let that dry, and while it's drying, I'm going to work on that little pocket that we made for the front, the little matchbook um, type 
pocket. So I'll set this out of the way. I decided I wanted to go ahead and do something on the front of it. And I'm going to use this little, um, it's called a Pilot Fairy. And these are by It Capilli Imaginarium. So she's, oopsie, my light is down here. So um, she's got the little flight goggles on and wings and she's sitting on mushrooms. I just thought she'd be kind of cute. And she kind of goes along with those funny little dolls. Which it's, I had a mix of um, response to those, which is normal. I usually do. People either love them or they're like, ew, those are weird and creepy. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just something you either like or you don't. But, anyway. I just like the um, like serendipity of them. I just think they're kind of just fun. Just fun. But I get, I get that people don't like that because it, it is a little bit weird with the big sort of bobbly head thing. It's not for everybody. I don't know if I want that red. I don't know that that would really go. But she's got just... I just think it would set, her, make her pop a little bit. Um, I think I'll do this. I keep leaning on my table. If you're hearing the it's like it's my belt <laughs> that makes that um, squeaking sound on my table. Sorry. I stand while I do this because I like standing and crafting. I always have. Um, even when I used to paint, I always stand. But I, I lean quite often on my table, so it kind of makes a weird sound. And this paper is out of that same heirloom paper stack. There's got it's got all kinds of cool stuff in it so if you can't get digis um, try Joanne Fabric Crafts and um, they have those nice big paper stacks and it's the thinner paper so I like it because it's great for journal either pages or uh, collaging all that kind of thing so I mean some things you don't you want the thicker paper for but for this kind of stuff it's they work great so I like them Let's see, it kind of feels like it needs something of a fern, right? are faring well with your kids at home. I enjoy having mine, you know, around all the time. But I know sometimes it can be hard if you've got to work, you know, like a different kind of job than what I have. I know that's hard when they're, they don't have school to go to and stuff. Oh, we have to remember this comes up. So let's do this so I don't do something messed up there. something like that. I like it. I'll probably add a little, little more thing or something, but let's do this much anyway. Get it glued down.
Yeah, I would be curious to know what you guys have been doing to keep occupied. I've seen lots of cool stuff on Instagram. Lots of people have been posting what they're up to, and there's lots of neat stuff. Don't forget, anybody's welcome to participate in my color challenge as well. So that would be a fun thing, if you're not already. And I'd, I love to see pictures, so if you want to send me pictures, um, either on my Etsy or like Instagram or something like that, this is a good way to get a hold of me. That's, it's fun to see what other people do. And I've put other um, play, people in the playlist. And I've just put that first like green video because I figured you can go. I probably won't put every video because, you know, that would be tons of videos. I don't know. I may. It just depends on time and stuff like that. But at least you can go find their channel that way. And definitely check them out because... Um, there's a few on there, and they've come up with some neat things. And a lot of them, um, well, a few of them, are like newer to YouTube and stuff, so they would obviously love to have people come over and check out their channel. See if you like their style or whatever. numbers on there and then I had a little tiny butterfly too what did I do with that sorry I just know I had it somewhere and I'm not finding it now well eventually I'll find it <laughs> It's in this paper mess somewhere. Oh, one of these would be good too, not just the, like there's Wonderful, which would be kind of fun on that. What else would we get on there? That one's Bloom. And these are all from Shabby Dabby Yuda. Bloom. Maybe we'll just go with that one. Special is good. Oh, maze is good. To be filled with wonderment. I like that one. Did you finish it? My daughter's been working on a 900 page book. She finished it. <laughs> Was it good? Yeah. Oh. made her cry and all kinds of stuff so it's pretty good here bring it here Aiden I'll show everybody so that they can see what book it is if they want to go well I know but they can at least go look up the series Kingdom of Ash, um, a Throne of Glass novel. So a Throne of Glass is what you'd look for because this is the last one. So see, there's a whole slew of them. So if you're really bored right now, you could start a new series. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe you've read some of those. If you have... Let me know. She was talking the other day about doing like book reviews on YouTube. I'm like, you should. Do you have time? <laughs> and people seem to like those. So. I used to read a lot more than I do now. Now I'm usually, I used to always read before I went to bed, but I try to watch a few videos during that time period so I can keep up with what everybody's doing. Alright, so there's that. 
the front of that little little pocket that will most likely end up in the front of the journal. I just wasn't sure yet if I wanted to glue it down or not. So there's that. And then what else should we do to this? Oh, we need to glue down. Oh, we can do a journaling card too. We can glue this down now. Oh no, I gotta put something back there first. That was almost a a fooey one. Because um, I need something on this page before I glue that down. Okay, I have this. I don't want to use that for that. Let me see. I don't have a big enough piece, I don't think, no. I'm trying to find stuff that, you know, I want to use up some scraps and stuff, and since I don't need a giant piece, maybe I'll go ahead and use that. Okay. needs to be cut to five and a half. I'm just trying to see. No, it's eight and a half, Amy. It's five and a half wide. Eight and a half long. Okay. And then we'll ink this real quick. I probably, I was mentioning um, that I'm going to do a, a giveaway for my 10,000 subscribers, which I will, but I may not do it until things calm down a little bit because um, I don't really want to go to the post office and stand in line. I don't mind taking my Etsy orders because I just take them and drop them off in the little box thing. So that's not, you know, that doesn't, that's an easy thing to do, but um, if I have to go with a something else and stand in line. I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> so I probably will wait until we get through the lockdown or whatever you want to call it, the staying in thing. So I will keep you guys informed. It's not that I am ignoring it or have forgotten. I totally appreciate all your support for sure. And plus I need to figure out what I'm going to give away. <laughs> But I'm working on it. Uh, I might do some collage pages and stuff. So, and I probably will do like three prizes or something like that. So a few things I mail out and then um, a few digis too for those people that don't live in the United States so that they can still participate. So I am going to be working on that because it's coming up, I think, by the end of the weekend I will be at 10,000 and I am just blown away entirely. I never dreamed that 10,000 people would subscribe to my channel. <laughs> it's crazy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just trying to make sure, like we've talked about, we don't want to get this as flat as we possibly can so that it's not weird when you... I mean, you're always going to get a little bit of um, rumpling of pages and things like that. I don't think there's any way to totally avoid that, but you want to get it, you know, the best you can. Like I have on this one page, ah, this pocket, this green paper, for some reason looks rumply, so... I don't know. It's just you're getting paper wet when you put glue on it and you just never know what it's going to do. So so that's kind of fun. I should have done that with the thumb hole too, huh? Let's see if I can still get that in there. Oh, good. 
I want to line it up with that one, so I'm just going to figure out where it is and try to come straight up here. There we go. Probably not perfect, but... Okay, yeah, I like that. So we'll have to make a few different, like a skinnier card for there and a little bit wider one for that one. But let's do, we have this opens up here, so we need to do the thumb hole there too. Oh, it's right here. Jeez. Jeez, Amy. And I haven't done any top ones yet, so I don't have anything to line it up with. So let's try to figure out roughly. It's really hard to tell sometimes when you're doing this. Lots of you have said you're doing an altered book for the first time, so that's awesome. Hopefully you'll have better luck than I did the first time. <laughs> Mine, um, I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't take enough pages out, and I just made a million pocket things because I was just having so much fun, which, I mean, they turned out cool, but it kind of, like, fell off the binding, and, yeah, it's just kind of a mess. But I love it. I still have it. There's my little tiny butterfly. And it can go right there. You can see that. <clears throat> and those are with um, the Ick Pili Imaginarium Pilot Fairies. These little tiny butterflies come with them. They're cute. So let's go up front there. And let's make a large journaling card for that big pocket. And I already ripped this one down to size, so we shouldn't have a problem. Let's just take a piece of this. And I'm a broken record because this, again, was out of that same paper stack. <laughs> It's a good one. And I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I haven't looked, so I don't know if it, they have it on Amazon or not. But I know Joanne's is where I got it, except you can't get any of that right now. Well, you might be able to get it online. Just try Joanne's and online and see if you can get it. I'll show it again. It's the Park Lane Papery Heirloom. Alright, and I think I want that, but I think I want some typing book. Because it's fun. I like the ones with the tables and stuff. Like that looks cool on things. ferns or something on it. Ooh, mushrooms. Oh, there's one little piece of that left. <laughs> that uh, collage that we did. Some of this would work. This is graphic 45. Side. I love this great big fern right here. I'm almost out of this. <clears throat> These sad days. That was a cool stack. I don't remember. What was this one called? Nature's Sketchbook. That was a good one. 
super good one. Something like that might work. I'm going to rough this around the edges. And if you have one of those little tools, you know, Tim Holtz tools, it's essentially the same. I think there's other companies that make them too, I don't really know. I've never really looked for one. So oh, that's another thing my daughter's been doing is coloring. <laughs> it's funny how you don't do that for ages, and then it's usually snowstorms or those kind of things that get us doing that kind of stuff. But uh, this is a little different, but same same idea. You can't go out much. I mean, you can. You just don't really want to when it's the big snowstorm thing. fun at first and then it's not fun anymore by the time you're shoveled snow for the millionth time. What are you doing mister? My cat is rubbing on my leg. Here come say hi. You haven't said hi in a super long time. Here's Pasha. <laughs> and there's nowhere to go. <laughs> He's a flat face cat. <laughs> Aww, he needs his eyeballs cleaned. <laughs> okay, you gotta get down because I can't. Nobody can see anything with you there. Now he's gonna be mad because I put him up and took him down. He likes to lay right here. Because that's super helpful, right? <laughs> His eyes lately, I don't know if he's got, because the spring or whatever, I mean he's always got the weepy eyes, but um, I've been cleaning them out every day and they just are goopy. And he does not love to have them cleaned out either. That makes him crabby. I didn't get that far yet today. It's in my things to do list, right? Already inked. This is going to take a little extra glue because it's a thicker paper, so I'm really going to try to get along those edges because I don't like it when they lift. to make a giant mess with glue. Let me show you. Kind of like this curled edge thing. All right, what else, what else, what else? It seems like it needs something. Hmm. 
don't know. Let me see where are I had all those little like labels and things. Sorry, I know this is like super exciting to watch me rifle through my junk. Or listen to it actually, you don't even get to see it. <laughs> you don't get to see all the junk. I probably have some already cut out though. Yeah, maybe a butterfly. I need like a big one. One of the ones that I hardly use because they're a little bigger than what I normally want. This is all Rachel Roxy Creations. And someone was asking me how I store these little envelopes with all this in it. I actually have a shoe box and they're just in there like all lined up so nothing um, expensive or exciting but it works because then they're all sitting up and not falling down and spilling and all of that oh those two are the same I kind of like that monarch or swallowtail right yeah swallowtail Kind of one of those people that just pretty much uses what I have. I don't tend to buy a whole bunch of like organizing stuff. It probably would behoove me to do that, but um, I kind of just use stuff that I have. I mean, I have bought some bins and things because you have to have somewhere to put things, but if I have something that'll work like a shoebox, then I use it. there's that part and then we need to do something on the back like I don't know I can't remember who this was from it's not jail or anybody. I don't know. They had these old receipts and I got them for my niece's book. I can't remember what it's called. Put it over the top. I to tear this a little bit too. So, um, I will be doing more of those ladies. I just, I'm not going to do it like on every card. I'm just going to do a few of them for the journal. Because I, Fern likes them, but I don't think she wants like a whole journal of those. So, just doing a few. Oh, I need to tear this one my turn. So yeah, I will be doing more. I just 
didn't have any planned today. to glue some just whole ones together to book pages instead of folding them because I've got lots of the folded ones and not very many of these. Uh, I needed to put that one down first. Oh well, it's going to go down second. Did the art glitter glue. <laughs> I love that manila paper, the way it looks when it's inked. It looks so much like old book page, it's cool. The only problem with it is you have to buy 500 sheets, <laughs> which I do use quite a bit, but that's really a lot. You can print on it, though. It does come out uh, pretty neat when you print on it. just depends on what kind of a look you're going for. This just doesn't want to get glue on here. Okay, so that will get stitched around and all and go into this top loading pocket here so that it will have some fabric sticking out the top like that all right and then pocket to pocket uh, I guess we can go ahead and glue or I'm just gonna glue it down I was gonna wait but I think it'll be fine just have to put extra uh, fabric around it or something to hold it closed <laughs> I mess that page up I do that every so often all right, so let's get this glued. I'm going to actually use tacky glue. I think it's cute. I want it in the journal, so... Hopefully Ferna will like it. And I'm going to just glue down the whole thing. You could leave it, you know, with a pocket, but like I said, it's already thick, and I don't want, you know, to add another something in behind it. Have it be even thicker. tried to get the inside cover done a little bit earlier this time because I struggled with that in the end last time. I don't know why sometimes I have a hard time figuring out what to do for covers. gluing it hopefully straight <laughs> no guarantees on that make sure this isn't blowing down up here okay that would be bad. Uh, 
Oh, it wants to lift right there. It's doing that. Okay, I think it's good now. Make sure those sides don't lift, because that wouldn't be good. All right, so there we are so far. So I hope you're liking it, Fern. And uh, we'll work on some more tags for there, but we got the top loading one here. So I think that's good for today. And I want to thank you guys again for all your support and subscribing. And if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel and you're watching and kind of liking it, then please like and subscribe and we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye now. Stay healthy and stay safe.